Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Foo, and today we are going to be talking about those little laughing jerks that come out of nowhere and then they just seem to smack you in the face, eat you a little bit, gnaw on you a bit, maybe, uh, you know, bust your leg, and then they just take off, you know, without a care in the world, just off into nowhere the moment that you punch them. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about the Hyenodon. Yeah, we're talking about those little guys that you don't I mean one of the easiest yet most frustrating ways of taming in the entire arc you don't have to give them anything all you have to do is love them that's really it all you have to do is love your hyenas <laughs> so yeah um we're gonna be talking today about their ups their downs their uh, um oh uh just how effective they can be at making things disintegrate in front of you with their pack mentality and it is absolutely impressive and i'm gonna showcase that just a little bit here and then also we're going to be discussing uh, the benefits of their meat pack uh, saddlebags that you can put on these guys. And we're going to be talking about just how cool these guys can be at a low level. Raising up on um, the island, raising up on Ragnarok, raising up on any place that you're playing where they have hyenodons. And yeah, these guys, they'll take you pretty far. All right, so hey, sit back, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about some hyenodons. One of my favorite little dudes for the early on in the game. All right, now hyenodons out in the wild, they're actually pretty much everywhere. I mean, if you can find, if you find a mountain or if you're in the um, edges of the snow biome, they're there. Chances are they're there. You might not see them, but they're there. These guys are actually kind of little elusive little turds. All right, but um, now how aggressive they are, it all depends on their pack size. If you see one hyena um, done by itself, it's going to leave you alone. It's it pretty much, if it even sees you, it's going to run. All right, if you see three hyenodons in a pack, yeah, that's the magical number, three hyenodons, and you're just chilling out, doing your thing, they're going to leave you alone. If you run up to them, they're going to um, they're gonna be cowards, they're going to run off. If you see six, all right, but hold on, back with the three, all right, but if you get wounded, if you get hurt, they're not going to hesitate to pounce on your face. It's as simple as that, yeah. And But if you see six hyenodons out in the wild, it doesn't matter if you're wounded, doesn't matter if anything, they are going to eat your face. Yeah, and these guys are fast, all right? Um, but um, there is a few different methods of taming these guys. Now, I'm going to talk about um, a couple. I mean, there's one where you can actually just take these guys, and then you just tame them out in the wild. You put on a ghillie suit, uh, and then you just go up to it, and then you pet it. But you ha there's a couple things with that. You have to make sure, one, that it's away from its pack leader. If the pack leader is anywhere near it, um, you will not be able to tame it. It just will not have the option. Yeah. Um, I don't like doing that. That way, you end up chasing it all over the place. It's really hard to deal with. Everything like that. Hynodon's taming out in the wild. It's not easy. All right. But if you can just pick up one of the, these hyenodons. I'm in K No, I wasn't in K mode. All right. Pick up one of these hyenodons. Let's go for the highest level one. All right. Here we go. What level are you? You're 145. Hey, you're a good hyenodon. All right, let's grab this hyenodon that's hitting me hard. Holy crap. Dude, stop hitting me. All right, let's see. Can you... All right, all right. The 90 degree thing works, or the 45 degree thing works. You go up 45 degrees, you go down 45 degrees, and then they're not going to be able to eat you. All right, so we're just going to pick this guy up, and we're kind of just going to thread the needle on this little trap that we've got. Ah, oh, holy crap. I forgot to take the top off the trap. All right, well, let's see. I'm probably not going to be able to thread the needle inside. You know what? You can just... Oh, you can go inside this trap. Okay, I have one right here. Is there something in there? Oh, there was a dillo in there. Okay. Suck it, dillos. Alright, so you're dead. All right, let's see. Let's grab some of this. This is what I get for not checking my traps before I go out and do a uh, do a video. There's Dillo right there, and of course the Dillo's not going to aggro on it. But I want to make sure. Suck it, Dillo. 
All right, so he's not aggroed on me yet, which is a big, big plus. All right, but now I'm got to uh, go get uh, some stuff to uh, craft up a hatch frame. The only reason I'm ha crafting a hatch frame is on top of that. I mean, you can craft regular ceiling, stuff like that. But hatch frame is just so much easier um, because it's less materials. All right, now um, I will link in the end of the video a link to... Uh, uh, my taming pen video where I actually created this trap. Um, yeah, I will actually, there's a couple different ones. One where I actually busted out the science. I was super frustrated one day, so I sat down and I figured out this trap. And then, but... There we go, hatch frame. But I will also link to uh, where I... Uh, Bust it out, kind of. It's another video where I did just a whole bunch of different taming pins. So, yeah, let's uh, do that. The hatch. Bam. And uh, from here on out, going up to this guy, we want to kind of stay low. Whoop, stay low. Hunker down. Because we don't want to aggro this guy. If we aggro this guy... Then we're going to have to de-aggro him, and that could sometimes be a big pain. Come on. There we go. All right. So now that we've got him in the trap, just like this, all we do is have to come up to this guy. He's not going to aggro on us. And we just pet him. Super, super simple. See? This trap is amazing for uh, hyenodons. Yeah, all right, so I'm going to get this guy tamed up, and then we're going to start talking about their meat packs, just how effective these guys are at the early game and even into the late game. These guys, they'll actually be your little guard dogs for your base because they are super simple, super quick, and they will be able to get from point A to point B um, super fast. So they'll actually end up being the guard dogs for your base after you no longer need to go uh, around... And then use them as uh, your little buddies going out. So, yeah. I mean, d dogs in arc. They're wicked, wicked cool. All right. So, hey, I'm going to uh, finish taming this guy. I'll bring you guys back, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. So, just by petting this guy, um, I've been sitting here. Um, his uh, taming effect has gone down a little bit, uh, but really there's nothing you can do about that. There is no kibble for these guys. There is no other way of taming these guys. You have to pet them. Their taming effect is going to go down. But just know that, yeah, this is going to be a perfect tame. He hasn't aggroed at all. He's just been chilling out, just been uh, doing his thing. Bam, there we go. All right, so now that we've got that, let's uh, turn you off from follow. Let's come over here. Let's go break our ceiling. Let's get you out of there with Super Dodo. Come on, buddy. Uh, demolish. Wrong button. All right, let's get over here. And this is actually sometimes one of the harder things, uh, just getting your Hynodon out of the game. There we go. Nailed it. Second attempt. All right, now we're going to actually talk about the meat pack here really quick. Because the meat pack, it's it's amazing. It's the earliest form of refrigeration that you can get in the game. Um, now, you can actually get a preserving bin. Now, preserving bins are okay. Um, I would recommend preserving Ben, you know, early on in the game, you know, but these guys right here, if you can get Hynodons even before preserving Ben, um, pres preserving bins, then I would recommend doing so because these guys, they have the same effect as preserving Ben. Here, let me show you. Let's, uh, get a, uh, a taming, or let's get this going. Let's see. Hynodon meat pack. Meat. All right. Now it's learned at level 19. It's wicked cool. All right. Let's see. What is preserving... Preserving Ben is 18. Okay, so you can get Preserving Ben one level b before, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's not nearly as mobile as a meat pack. All right, let's see. Um, meat pack, all right, which takes uh, 155 fiber, 290 hide, and some metal. All right, so let's take that, that. Um, let's see, fiber. Oh, yeah, we've got the fiber right there. Bam! All right, uh, let's see. Let's go grab uh, some stuff from over here because we've got all this. Compy, get out of the way, man. All right, let's see. Let's uh, grab this. Um, a little bit of hide. And I think we have some metal here. Wrong button. All right, 
Uh, meat. Bam! All right, so now let's uh, put this on here, and there's no reason for any of your hyenodons not to be wearing meat packs. Trust me. Um, I mean, some people say you just need to put the meat pack on one, but it actually provides armor. These guys, uh, they're, um, they're, they're kind of, uh, they don't get that many hit points, so they want all the armor that uh, you can put on them. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is important that you put meat packs on all of your hyena dogs. All right, so let's come out here, put this on here, and then bam. All right, uh, let's see. Let's put the meat pack on there, right there. Now he gets like his little saddle, but you can't ride him. You can pet him, and then this right here, it gives him this little buff. But yeah, um, so once you uh, um, put the meat pack on him. Here, let me see. Uh, do I have, there we go, bam. Okay, now here, let me show you something. All right, now this meat on my inventory, all right, has a spoil time of 155, all right? This same meat on Super Dodo. Oh, and that's not going to work. All right, here, let me just get rid of all this stuff just where it doesn't mix with the other stuff that's already there. Okay, on Super Dodo, this raw meat has a spoil time of 112. In my inventory, this has a spoil time of 18. Put it in this guy's inventory with a meat pack. And it's 2.23. Yeah, it doubles the amount of uh, time that a regular dino will give it. Which means that it is wicked cool. Yeah. Alright, and go ahead and eat up, dude. Yeah, you've deserved it. Alright, so now, let's take this guy out. And I've also got my other hyenodons over here that I tamed way, way early on in, this, in my Soul in the Ark series. That have actually just been um, being used as my guard dogs for my base i actually have them set up strategically around the base where if anything aggros they'll immediately rush over there and uh start beating the crap out of things it's wicked cool all right so hey before we head out though let's talk about a few things all right um if you're going to be leveling these guys up for a hyenodon pack i would recommend uh get them up to about 2500 health and then just pump all melee yeah that's it just 2,500 health, all melee. And you notice I've had these guys for a long time. This one right here has 20,000 XP. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty impressive. All right, there we go. Let's see, I have one more that needs to be leveled up. Oh, Ed, you haven't been... Oh, okay, Ed. All right, well, hey, you guys all need to be fed. So, hey, perfect time to feed you guys. Let's go do it. Come on, guys. All right, you'll notice that the highest level one, Whoopi right there, she will have uh, the uh, pack leader buff. Now, the pack leader buff, it's pretty much the same as, like, the raptor buffs, stuff like that. They get extra um, damage, and, yeah, it, it, it's pretty cool. All right, so, I'm on, guys. All right, let's get over here. Now, let's get far enough away from base so where we can start showing off just how fast these guys... Just get them. Just how fast these guys make things disappear. It is super impressive. Plus, also, while they have the meat pack on and they uh, have meat in their inventory, they get a, a, a really good regeneration. Yeah, it, they regenerate super fast like that. All right, let's see. Let's get you. Come on. <laughs> Suck it, Parasaur. Oh, hey. There you go. All right, just get them. Yeah, even Diplos don't stand a chance against these guys. Now, you can take these guys inside caves all over the place. It is wicked, wicked cool. Just the, some of the places you can take these guys. A lot of people, you know, it's like the swamp caves, stuff like that. Uh, they'll take out Dimorphodons, everything like that. You can actually take Hyenodons in there. Yeah, and Hyenodons actually have the benefit of having a saddle. So they take less damage. Plus, you can also get increased saddles. Um, so where you can take them into the caves. Or so where they take even less damage. Yeah, <laughs> it's really amazing. A lot of people, they tend to overlook um, just how wicked cool Hyenodons are. When it comes around to... Uh, um, because you can actually get increased level of saddles on them. Yeah. And then also, they regenerate health super fast. It's wicked cool. What is that over there? That's a raptor! Hey guys, um, I'm currently engaged in the process of being eaten. You want to? Thank you! That was so nice of you. See? They are man's best friend. Alright. Alright, apparently I was attacked by an alpha raptor while I was doing this. Alright, come on, you alpha raptor, you want to go up against me? Yeah, dude, you're going to suck it. Yeah, that's what you get, man. And also you, dude! Jeez, man. Gosh. 
All right, fine. You're just pushing him away. I'll get around behind you. There you go. Now get him. There you go. All right. So yeah, I mean the benefits of these guys, it, it's it's amazing, especially for the lower level. Um, oh, Arc Adventure. I mean, if you get a Hynid on early on and you end up being able to get like a pack before you're like level 25, anything you ride on, you could ride on a Parasaur and these guys would take you to victory. <laughs> it's pretty insane. Oh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna shoot at my guy. Yeah, <laughs> suck it, Dillo. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, these guys right here, they make uh, pretty much all of your dinos that you're gonna ride on. Uh, they add flames. That's really what they do. Uh, you don't even need to have a super cool mount. Hell, you could be attached to a Fiomia. I mean, you could want a Fiomia as your best dino. As the, the dino that you ride, you pump nothing but speed on it. But if you have a pack of Hynodons, that Fiomia is going to have flames painted on the side. And it's going to be the best thing that you could possibly have. Because they're going to be able to take down everything for that Fiomia. Yeah, <laughs> it's wicked cool. Alright, so hey, I hope I covered everything when it comes around to the Hynodon. Uh, pay attention to the videos at the that I link at the end of this video. Um, for I for how to make that taming pen and also the strategy that I ha involved to create that taming pen. And, uh, well, actually, I think that taming pen, it, it's even mentioned on the wiki. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> that's my that's my contribution to Ark right there. All right, so hey, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, make sure you click that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Take it easy, everybody.